I really hate rain. I really, really do. I'll be right back. I gotta go fill this with water and find my spray for um, my like livestock insecticide spray. The pigs have really dry skin right now, which um, I don't think they, they don't have any other signs of mites, but I'm gonna spray them down anyways, just in case. These pigs I've noticed, especially when it's really muddy out, which it is all the time here, they get um, really dry skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray them down just in case. Some pigs have it worse than others. Um, Miranda was the worst. I just doused her pretty well. Uh, looks like Honey might also have it pretty bad. So I'm gonna go over there and get her done. Everybody else looks pretty good. I wanted to introduce you guys to the breeders today and they're annoyed with me so they've all gone out but they'll they'll come right back in it's funny if I come in here and just pretend like I'm doing nothing um, they're cool but if I'm in here like and I look like I'm doing something like spraying them with mite spray they're out of here they're like mm, nah mom's being sketchy Lyle's still in here He's a hungry dude. And there we go. There's honey. There's honey. Come here, pigs. So that one wasn't supposed to get bred. She was actually a feeder pig that got in with the boar. So she did get bred but I need an abundance of feeder piglets this year, so I guess that's not a terrible thing. I will retain all of her piglets for my, for my own breeding program, and um, then we will, we will eat her after she's weaned her piglets off because she's not a registered breeder. Hey guys, hi guys. Who's this? That's honey. That's honey bun. This is B. It's funny, I can tell just by looking at any part of these pigs, I can tell who it is. This is B. She's a new new gilt from Michigan. She is bred to Lyle. Um, she's one of my more um, sketchy breeding females. <laughs> you want to go this way, Lyle? Go eat over there, baby. So that's B. She's got a little pregnant belly on her. She probably won't have many because she's still she's still young. She's still little, as you can tell. 
Miranda's much bigger. Miranda's a three-year-old sow. B is a year-old gilt. You can see the size difference there. You can see the dry skin I was talking about. On Miranda, Miranda's skin, it's looking a little dry. Hey baby, hey baby, how are ya? How are ya today? Oh, oh that's the good spot. Yes. Look at that big old belly. Oh, you're such a good girl. Miranda's a wee bit of a troublemaker, aren't you? Yeah, you're really good at figuring out how to get out of fences. Yeah, you are. Oh, that's a good scratch, though. Oh, this. But this is Paul's favorite favorite sow that we have. And she is a very good mom. Huh? Yes, you are. You're a good mama. Yes, you are. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but she is kind of she is kind of a troublemaker. Yeah, she is. she's a naughty pig. You're a naughty pig. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So this is that little one that I told you about that wasn't supposed to get bred. Hi, be friends? No? Okay. Ugh. Miranda, I'm not out here to love on you. No, I'm not. Oh, there it is. Okay, you want, yeah, all right. All right, pregnant belly scratches. Yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> What a good pig. Yes. <laughs> Where's Lizzie? Where's your sister? Where's Lizzie is? All right, so this is B. Anyway, she's a little sketchy. Miranda, I am busy making a video. I am making a video. And it's not called Meet Miranda. It's called Meet the Pigs. Yeah, look at the, the belly on Miranda. So Miranda and Lizzie's first possible due dates are March 24th. So we are actually coming up pretty close. Hey, babe. Hi. Hi, Lyle. You're such a sweet guy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> you believe this is a boar? He's such a good boy. Yes, he is. Oh, my goodness, Lyle. <laughs> um, I believe this is Honey back here. She's a little bigger than Bee. She's a little longer. I really do love Honey. She's a beautiful pig. She's got a nice short snout, nice long body, long legs. I like her size for an Idaho pasture pig. There's Lizzie. There's my baby. How you doing? So Miranda is Paul's favorite pig. Lizzie is my favorite pig. She also has a big old belly on her. Come here, Liz. You can come in, honey. I'm not trying to be in your way. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah, there she is. That belly. And she's already starting to bag up, which is crazy, because she's not due, as far as I know, unless I did it wrong. She's not supposed to be due until, like, March 24th. And it is only March 7th. So... Hmm, that's interesting. Two weeks. Well, okay, maybe. So here's the thing. Lizzie has a habit of bagging up and teasing us for like weeks, okay? She acts like she's going to have babies for a long, long time, and then she finally has them. Miranda doesn't act like nothing's happening until it is time for babies. And then she quickly makes a nest. She bags up, starts squirting milk everywhere, lays down, and has babies. So, and that has been, they've both had three litters here, and um, that has been what they've done every single time. So, I'm only expecting the same thing this time, again, Miranda, and it's kind of proving true. We are two weeks out, Miranda is not bagging up yet, and Lizzie is. So, that's probably going to be the same thing again this year. They're gonna, Lizzie's gonna tease us, and Miranda's just gonna wait till she's ready. Yes, she is. Are you coming to snuggle? Are you coming to snuggle? That's so nice. <laughs> They're very good girls. Yes, they are. So, I say it a lot, and I do mean it, 
spend time with your pigs. Um, your sows, you should be able to handle them like this, no problem. And they should welcome you. They should want it. You know, Miranda keeps coming up to me and asking for more scratches. And that's exactly what you want. Lyle, he is a boar. And while he's still a young boar, he's about a year old. Uh, he's very, very mild, um, very low key. We actually just butchered our older boar because he was the opposite. He was very testy, very just aggressive with all of his actions and everything he did. Uh, granted, he got the job done very quickly, but he was a little hard to handle compared to Lyle. So uh, we did just butcher our older boar for that reason. Lyle is um, seeming like he's going to be a really good boar to have around, though. He's a sweet boy. He's not supposed to still be in here. We've got to move Lyle out of here uh, next weekend. Yes, we do. we got to get you out of here. You're not supposed to be in here, Mr. Man. No, this isn't Lyle's pen. <laughs> no, it's not. This is the girl pen. <laughs> but he's such a sweet boy that he's just kind of hung out in here for a little while. Gordo was really mean to him, and I only have one boar pen right now. So, he hung out with the girls, huh? Because Gordo was big meanie, wasn't he? Yes, he was. He was big meanie to Mr. Lyle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So Lyle will go back in his boar pen next weekend, though, because he does need to not be in here. Uh, when the girls have babies, we'll give them their privacy. I don't think he'll hurt the babies at all. Boars that are used to being with um, smaller pigs and larger pigs, we kind of raise everybody together here as much as possible. And boars that are raised like that are typically really good with newborn piglets. Um, even Gordo wouldn't hurt the piglets. They would get into his pen and steal his food all the time, and he was fantastic. Always, always, always running her mouth. I apologize greatly if she's super annoying in the videos, you guys, because she is really annoying in real life. Hopefully she'll start nesting soon and we'll see less of her for a month or so. Let's go over here and say hi to Miss Lizzie. She's ignoring us for the foods today. Yes, she is. Ignoring us for the foods. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's the spot, isn't it? <laughs> They're such good girls. It's okay, sweetheart. I'm not going to hurt you. Very good girls. Honey is also a really sweet pig, really mild-tempered. She's Kingston's favorite pig. I do think Honey is about a month behind everyone else, which sucks, um, but it is what it is because I saw Lyle mount her again about a month ago, so I think she may be behind on farrowing, which is all right. We'll work with it. The combination of a new boar and a new gilt can sometimes can sometimes turn into uh, a breeding taking longer than you expected or wanted. It seems he got B right like on time, so maybe Honey just didn't take the first time, which isn't abnormal for a new gilt. So you just got to be patient with these new ones. Uh, we will be a month late probably on Honey. Well, that is. All of the girls and Lyle and thank you guys for coming along I'm glad you got to meet everybody before farrowing season so when I say somebody is looking close you'll know who I'm talking about thank you guys for stopping in uh, thank you for commenting and interacting with us let us know if you have any questions about farrowing um, I did a couple videos a while back about that but we've been doing this for eight or nine years so we do have a lot of knowledge to give if you have questions and uh, happy homesteading chat soon